Hi everyone, Carl here with a look at a Microman figure, a 2004 Microman. If you don't know what Microman is, uh, it's way too long to talk about in one video. The short of it is they're a Takara Toys Company long-running franchise from the 70s that on and off stuck around until about 2006, 2007 when they kind of... Uh, Tailed it off when they merged with Tomy. Um, they came to Kara Tomy Toys or something like that. No, I remember they just sort of shoved Microman to the side then. A little bit of a shame. This is part of the uh, 2004, as I said, line. And he is a military force figure. Bring him in a little closer. So what that means, if we can uh, bring him up a little bit here. There you go. Military Force. Takara. 2004. It's everything that I said just then. Um, so what he is, is a sort of mass-produced toy, um, more so than usual. He was launched very cheap. These guys were sold at 800 yen each, which, uh, I don't know, you can do the conversion yourself from 2004, but I think it was something like 12 or 13 US dollars when I checked, so... Um, not how much they cost now, they cost a little bit more now, um, 20, 30 US dollars, if you're lucky. Um, but, they are kind of plot-wise in the Microman line, not that it really matters, but, uh, they're like mass-produced soldiers, so they're not even real people, they're like robots. They're robots in a toy line about robots. Someone had sold this one for $9.99 plus tax, uh, so I think this one was bought in the US at some point from an import shop, I would assume. As you can see, I have already opened it and removed all of the uh, weapons, and we'll look at those in a second. Some Japanese text, made in China. Always good to see. And yes, the packet reseals. These are uh, Microman toy line from 2000 and whatevers all use these resealable uh, cases, which is very nice. Uh, this one is different to the others because it doesn't just slide out. It has this... That's my stand in the background. And it will be used for size reference later. Once you open it, you get the figure. Is he gonna stand? No way in hell. Put him down there. You get this backing, which has a nice little book in it. Let's grab the book and have a quick look at the book, shall we? We're only gonna look at the book for this one specific figure. Because there are eight Microman military force from this line. And there's a couple of other ones that came on later, but they are the same. <laughs> the book has a complete list. Oh no, this is spoilers for all of the other ones that I'll have to look at. Very nicely demonstrating what you get, who you get, etc. And some examples of how you could lay out your Microman figure. If you wanted to uh, do it this way. These are actually combinations of different uh, weapon types. As you can see, this one has got uh, gunmetal 1 and 2 to make that complete look there. And so on and so forth. This is another Takara toy line. Mach uh, machine Force. Oh, they, they call the Machine Force. Huh. Um, they're from the Bio Machine line. Um, and the Action series, which were toys that, well, as you can guess, are from licensed series. Fantastic. So we'll put that book away, and we'll put the box away, and we'll put warranty card away, and have a look at what else you get with the figure. Well, mostly what you get is some hands. You get ten hands. Ten blurry hands. Ten hands. Uh, they're all different, well, they're all the same pose, left and right hand. Except for uh, this guy, because I've got the hand switched on the figure. It's gonna be a little bit hard to get those into focus, because they are translucent. Very nice. And I'll put those to the side, because we don't really need those either. Now, other than them, the real meat of this figure is a pile of crap. A lot of metal crap. Let's throw that on the ground. Let's 
get a nice good look at the figure itself. What you get in MF1, which is obviously short for military force. Now, this is a very standard Takara style figure from this line. He has a goofy head because, by golly, that's what the military force needed. Hello, a crash dummy. Yes, he looks almost exactly like a crash test dummy. Now, these specific toys got a new body for the Takara Microman line, and it is actually just, I think it's called the Military Force body. Uh, and it was used a lot. I used it eight times in this line, a bunch more times in other lines, uh, until the mold basically stopped working. It has a lot, as you'll see, peg holes, peg holes, peg holes, peg holes, screw, and it comes in a tasteful white and orange translucent thing. The white is a solid white plastic. And he reminds me a little bit of a Whis bar, if you've ever uh, seen one of those. It's kind of a mango sorbet uh, ice cream bar. Very delicious, much like this figure. And yes, if you're familiar, which you probably aren't because you're watching this video, or maybe you are because you're watching this video, who can say? Um, these toys are kind of famous for having a lot of articulation. I'm not going to do this for every military force, but just for this guy, I'll go through the whole range. His head turns, it moves around on a socket, you can move it all around. This one's actually really tight, so forgive me if I seem to have a little bit of trouble. You can move his shoulder joint around. You can spin his shoulder itself around. You can spin the upper arm around. His elbow bends, and it's designed to bend only one way. Can't bend the other way, so that's, you know, realistic. And his hand can spin on the wrist. It kind of just pops out, but it does spin. And you can move his arm side to side. There is actually a special arm that goes up and down um, for holding his guns, but we don't have to worry about that. His uh, torso goes up and down. His hips go side to side. I think they can bend, yes, they can bend. His uh, legs are both on ball joints, so they can just go wherever the hell they please. Upper thighs, side to side, knees up and down, and footsies up and down. And they're on a very, very small ball joint. You might want to be a little careful with these, but they do go side to side. Whew. That was exhausting. Would you like to have a look at the weapon pile? There is a pile of Microman weapons and equipment. So what do you do with this? Well, the military force line, very specifically, was actually made to be customized. For instance, let's take this rifle here. A very nice looking rifle, yes. Well, what we can do is we can take, say, this drum. Kind of looks like a canteen, but we can just put it there. Now we got like a, a space Tommy gun thing sort of going, you know? Now obviously that's basic stuff. Obviously yes, you can do that to the guns and items, but you can also do that to the figure, which is very cool. Don't like his goofy head? Stick a clipboard on his face. Oops. Stick a clipboard on his face. Now he has a clipboard on his face, but he can be whatever he wants to be. Yes, your imagination is the limit. Kinda. As long as your imagination sort of conforms vaguely to wet to wit, the original sort of designers had in mind, they, these things aren't super perfect. Lots of joints don't necessarily clip in all together. You know, it's not 
perfect. If it was perfect, that'd be great, but it's not going to be. So what can you do? And there we go. Such style, such class. What a fantastic looking person he is. Yes, there is a lot of fun to be had with the military force figures. These are easily some of the best the Microman lines have ever produced. For the sake of it, here is some scale reference. Here is a figure that hopefully won't fall over when I put the scale reference next to it. This is not a very hard surface. There we go. So there is the scale reference assigned the figure. They are tiny, but that's what you get when you buy a Microman figure. 